Delish, right? Absolutely. What's your uh, chocolate? Like, why chocolate, dark, milk? I like milk, but dark is also not too shabby. What about you? Yeah, I, and growing up, I was a lot more in the milk. Now I've kind okay. of slowly transitioned to dark. Okay. But it's crazy, like, with all the different coca levels, like, how bitter do you want your dark chocolate? Yeah. Like, you get really scientific here. You know. you know what's really good? What? Put it in your coffee. Dark like chocolate a and kiss coffee? or something like that. Yeah. Oh, see, the problem is I don't drink coffee. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> I know. Uh, I don't think you could put it in tea. That would be weird. Ugh. Anyways, I'm just going to eat a bar of chocolate on the side this morning, maybe after breakfast, although I did already have breakfast. Lunch, there you go. 61 was a high temperature yesterday. Same thing in Chicago. We had 54 in International Falls. Not really a lot of warm air around the Midwest, so we are going to be remaining still a little bit cool as the overhead into the next couple of days. And the temperature outlook from the latest Climate Prediction Center outlook is showing slightly below average temperatures. However, by the middle of next week, we should be starting to warm things up into the 60s. This morning, we've got an area of low pressure moving down to the southeast, providing us with some rain showers. And there's another area of low pressure farther to the northwest that's also bringing in another chance of rain showers later tonight into early tomorrow morning. But not as much in widespread as what we're seeing right now. You can see the line of showers moving down to the southeast. Areas points northwest of Green Bay. We're breaking out of some clearing skies. You see a little bit of activity up into far northwestern Wisconsin. A little bit of snow showers, but this activity kind of breaking apart, but we can't rule out a stray pop up rain shower in the afternoon hours for somebody. Vast majority of us will be remaining dry today. You see the rain moving down slowly to the east and to the southeast, and that will be the continued th uh, trend as we head into the mid and late morning hours breaking into a little bit of some sunshine, partly cloudy skies, and maybe a pop-up shower as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. Tonight, we will see mostly clear skies, but then quickly increasing cloud cover with another weak disturbance moving in here in the form of some light rain showers, break into some sunshine by tomorrow morning. And then by the afternoon, a couple of stray rain showers possible, especially up towards the far northeastern section around the Bay Area. By Saturday, we see a lot more sunshine out there and the weekend should be remaining dry. Rainfall totals over the next about 36 uh, hours or so, you can see very minimal, just a couple stray showers and perhaps just to kind of uh, add a little bit of uh, drizzle onto the windshield. Right now, 44 in Green Bay with a northwest wind at 5 miles per hour. We've got uh, 30s up into the north woods and mid and upper 40s across the rest of our area with the cloud cover we really haven't cooled off too much. And with the winds coming in once again out of the west and northwest, and not dealing much too much with the lake breeze today. And temperatures should be pretty similar to what we saw for yesterday. Highs will be in the upper 50s. Northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will cool off to 38 with a few straight rain showers. And then for tomorrow, we'll get up into the lower 50s, so a little bit cooler than today. And we'll climb up to a high of 55 on Saturday, a little cooler for your Mother's Day, partly cloudy skies. And then we start to warm back up into that 60 degree temperature range, 60 even on Tuesday, and then getting into the low 60s as we head into Wednesday. Nothing we can't handle, right? Not at all. At least we're not bringing out the shovels. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you, Gino. We'll have you guys.